Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is our playoff match against um, Matt of the Lavender Town Leopards. This is our round of 16 matchup. Uh, again, we're the 15th seed going in against the number two seed. Also, the defending champ of season nine NPCL as well. I didn't know that at the time. So what an honor it is to be able to fight what, one, two, three, three different champions in this run. Uh, so yeah, let's go and review the battle, shall we? It was very entertaining, wasn't it? So let's let's just get into it. This Alrighty, so I think I put Miascarada as always to try to shoot. And here comes the Alolan, uh, Alolan, Hisuian Electrode. And we just opt to U turn, uh, U turn knockoff here just because, see, and we thought Electrode would switch out anyway. So uh, we just knock off again, but it does live it though. And we do see uh, the Stealth Rock coming out. So good thing we do have the Court Change in the back. We are Scar, so we don't have to worry about um, the Electrode. We do see a Darmanton come out here, and we do see just a straight U-turn probably into the Electrode now, so very well played on his part. And then uh, Vote Switch, we keep it because we have the Rindo Berry and we Ice Beam it here. We Ice Beam and get the Freeze right out the gate, which sets the tone of the battle. Um, well, that Freeze was crucial, we're not afraid to... Uh, leave it in here. We Earth Power thinking a switch into like some into Darmanitan will come out. Um, but fortunately, we get three freezes, three turns of freeze, and we Ice Beam knock off the Electro, so no more switch initiative there. So we're off for a really good start in this map. Out comes Hatterene. We do know that it has uh, Giga Drain and whatnot, Energy Ball, Nuzzle, even. We see a Mystical Fire, which it doesn't matter. Uh, for the Cinder Ace. And uh, Darmanitan comes back out, and we do click. Court change, get the rocks on his side. So, clean switch there, and out comes our Gashadon, which we do just sack. We see Flare Blitz, uh, probably, uh, what do you call that? Sheer Force Life or Flare Blitz. So, we don't, you know, we're not going to see uh, Life Orb anyway, but we set up a Reflect here. Um, we do set up Reflect to reduce our damage, and then we set up a Light Screen here um, to uh, just double down on that protection. Here comes that Calm Mind from the Hatterene. So that's quite scary. Uh, we do part... Well, I was scared to Parting Shot. I don't know if Parting Shot works on Magic Bounce. If we would get the stat reduction and whatever instead. So, and it would, the move would fail. So I didn't want to click Parting Shot there. But we do go into Celesteela here. And uh, just because it does wall um, Hatterene. And I was scared to, we do see a leftover, I was initially thinking a weakness policy as well. Um, but we do see it as a wall of sorts, um, Aegislash. Slash. Uh, so we're not burned, so we can take a lot of hits here. Uh, we see the King Shield, we're not going to go for Earthquake or Flamethrower, we're just going to spam Earthquake, because Earthquake is spammable now that Electrode is gone. And a Sand Slash, Defensive Sand Slash is gone as well. So he's slowly just chipping down his own HP, is what we're doing. We're not letting up here with the, uh, with the offense. We see another King Shield, so he is kind of stalling our Earthquake as well, which we can afford. Um, we, we can definitely afford that. Uh, our Reflect is gone, so he did a good job stalling out our screens. We can always set it back up with Morgrim. Our mad time will take a lot of chip damage coming in and no more sturdy on the sock if it is sturdy. So here comes that shadow ball. Little chunk of damage with the split death drop. Unfortunate there. And we do uh, knock out Aegis Slash here. So big threat gone. And we get the defense boost back. And out comes the Darmanitan once again, taking a lot of damage. And I was contemplating letting it stay in and eat a flare blitz. But we figured, you know, let's just go Cinderace, and we do see the Flare Blitz doing a lot of recoil on him in return, and we just leave it in just to... And this also confirms that it is indeed Scarf, Darmanitan. We do send out Morgum to reduce um, the damage with Reflect again. 
Uh, we do see a scarf. Cassandra does outspeed our mana type, but we do we do see it is scarf that confirms it is scarf. And we do get reflect and light screen off as the call mine goes up again. And uh, we switch out here back right into Celestila. We see Mystical Fire doing a little chunk of damage again. <clears throat> And uh, we're gonna just click the heavy slam because Darmatan cannot come in anymore. So out comes the sock, break it sturdy, of course. Can do a lot of damage with our heavy slam there. I was thinking a brick break's gonna come, but we do see close combat. We do eat the hit relatively okay. And then here comes the heavy slam to knock out um, sock there. So we do get our defense boost with beast boost. We see Darmata living on 1 HP, so I figured it's okay, we'll let it go down. Oh no, we're gonna let the recoil. We're gonna let we're gonna kill it with recoil uh, instead. That's a safer option. Um, I see what we're doing here. And then we outspeed uh Hattering anyway. So I just going for EQs, just get any type of chip damage. We do see Calm Minds. Hattering is very scary. Um, the move would probably be better if I switched into uh um, so steal instead, but we do body slam and do get the paralyze on it. So now it's um, we do know it has draining kiss to restore its HP. So we're kind of just playing a little cautious with it here. But we do get the paralyze here, so we didn't even need to switch. And because earthquakes doing a lot more damage, we do knock out Hattering here. We do put the champs at a we do put the champ at a disadvantage. Uh, going into the next match, 0-1. Remember, these are best 2 out of 3 here. So, let's go into the next one, shall we? Alright, so this is round 2 of our playoff match. Let's get into round 2. We're up 1-0, so let's see how we do in this one. Can we seal the deal here? We'll see. Um, so, there you go. so Crobat is out first, and we send out Meowth's Karada as always. Um, we switch out right into Celesteela because we know Crobat outspeeds, and we know U-turn was coming, so we do switch out. And out comes the Mill Tank right away here. Uh, go right into Cinderace, and uh, there's the Thunder Wave, something we're worrying about. Here comes the Claw Witzer next, and we do go for, I don't remember what we click, but we do get paralyzed, so I think the hacks are coming around as uh, Calvin saying right here, hacks goes around, comes around, yep, it definitely is. Uh, out comes the Hatterene, we do get an uh, Earthquake off, do some little chip of damage to that Hatterene. And then we switch out right into Cinderace, so Cinderace being neutered is pretty big. And here he is, he's just trying to revenge, uh, paralyze us. Um, so out comes the Claw Witzer again, the Claw Game. We Pyro Ball, get a little chunk of chip on that. And then we gotta, we gotta start uh, getting that momentum going here. Here comes that Hidden Power. Oh, he U turns out uh, probably into Hatterene again, yeah. Forcing us to switch, of course. Cinderace again. Cinderace is racking up a lot of damage, which isn't good. Uh, we do have the power ball, which we're going to click again here. To mill tank, it's probably thick fat mill tank, judging by that damage. And then here comes that body slam. We do high jump kick, I believe, but we get paralyzed here, so we do miss a crucial move here. And out comes the crowbat again. I do believe we, no, we get two turns of paralyze. I think we click the high jump kick again. So we're obviously going to switch on to. I don't know why Morgrim, that's probably a big mistake there. We probably should have gotten Celestila. Uh, I think we just wanted to get the screens going. Uh, and then we see the Thunder Wave, so a really good switch in on his part. And then we um, parting shot out into Meowskorada. And we see a sub go up. So now we're just free to click knockoff on his team. And then there's the discharge, and guess what? Another para? Not another para yet. So we can click another knockoff for free here. Um, we still have them titties though, still being annoying. And we see it's a Rocky Helmet variant, so it's Impish. I guess it's Impish 
and we see another body slam because that's what we, we can take the hit with Gastrodon again. Another paralyzed, so most of our team is getting paralyzed out the wazoo right here. Um, <laughs> it's I'm glad it's entertaining. Uh, we can tell it's more of a defensive build just because Urtar did a lot. Gastrodon doesn't really hit too hard on that side. We don't get any burns as you can see. Uh, which is unfortunate. Not getting any hacks. I think we burnt out all our hacks in the first round. Um, and we see Electrode. Uh, we're not worried again. We're not worried. We do have Ice Beam uh, for his Giga Drain. So we have the Rindo. We're going to hit the Ice Beam again. But we get... No. Do we get the Freeze again? I just figured let's just go with it. Why not? Why not? Okay, we don't get paralyzed. I thought we got paralyzed. It's been a while since this battle took place, so I don't quite remember. We do get the Ice Beam, and then uh, we can freely EQ once again uh, with against the Hatterene that's coming in. That we are collectively clenched. I love reading these comments now. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, I uh, enjoy this show so far. Yeah. Um, Go to the Gastrodon. I'm getting really. Dish I'm having way too much fun watching this battle. I'm having way too much fun in the battle because this is really fun. Uh, I don't care if this is a playoff match. Like, this was just really, really fun. I'm having a lot of fun, and I hope this battle shows it. Uh, this battle is just becoming a war of attrition. Now we gotta survive the para and get damage off when we can. So obviously he's learning my switches and whatnot. We're AB, so we're gonna take a hit here. Uh, Draining Kiss. He recovers most of that HP back. I think it recovers 75% of that damage dealt back. Um, we go on to Cinderace, which is getting really, really weak. We see a Mystical Fire here. And we're going to click Pyro Ball. Go and Flowitzer is coming. But we get paralyzed again. So Cinderace is being rather useless here. And we let it go down because we need to kind of switch up the game a bit. Out comes Meow Scarada, which we know we outspeed Flowitzer. Out comes the Mill Tank. And we hit the flower trick. So it is confirmed thick fat, not sap zipper. And we can click flower trick and we will knock it out in the next turn. He gets his rocks up because we don't have the, the court change anymore. And so yeah, we're just gonna keep clicking flower trick because why the heck not at this point. We switch out into Gastro, which is paralyzed. We're having trouble in this game. Uh, he U turns out probably into the event. We'll get a free Giga Drain off. Um, yeah, not looking good for us right now. Uh, we get paralyzed again. I think we clicked Earth Power or Ice Beam. Didn't matter. Electrode is very frail. Uh, but yeah, this definitely hurts a lot with two paralyzed mons, uh, three paralyzed mons now. So now we gotta try pull it back as best we can. Uh, well, this is win or go home, right? So we gotta try. Uh, let's still, we still gotta try pull out the battle. Uh, we see we out. Uh, electrode here. We go on to Reggie Drago. Um, no paralyze there. I think this is our full send the rabbit team, isn't it? I don't actually quite remember. But uh, yeah, we see Hatterene. We're gonna EQ. He's preserving that six so really, really well. Just gonna find an edge. And uh, when we click body slam, we click EQ. We probably should click body slam to be honest with you. Body slam was free. Uh, but U-turn will knock us out, we get the switch initiative. And out comes that Darmanitan, which he can just clean up. Uh, we send out Morgrim to get the Reflect up to reduce as much damage as possible. But as you can see, he can tell what we're doing. So we Reflect, then we Light Screen after to give ourselves the best chance. No, so we actually just click Parting Shot there. There was actually no reason to, I mean, he's probably just going to sub anyway. Yeah, so not, it didn't really matter. We probably should set up screens then. Hunting shot out. We do a U-turn, get rid of the thing. So now Celestila. Oh, this was the weakness policy, Celestila. This is what we're going for, right? Yes, this was. But then unfortunately we get the paralyzed. See, this was the send the tower strategy. So obviously it doesn't work now. We need to get the light screen off. We autonomized, but we got paralyzed, so the speed boost doesn't even matter. If we actually was able to pull this off, we would have won. Because this was perfectly done. To do, you know, it was perfectly done, perfectly executed. We just got the paralyze. We outspent everything on his team. 
So, yeah, that's yeah, that's why we lost. We're gonna lose here. Uh, Morgrim, you know, we lose Rock Dash. We're gonna lose to the Monkey. Uh, we got Manitan right there. The big gorilla in the back there. And then, yeah, that was the game. But yeah, I was so disappointed with that discharge though, getting uh, the paralyzed there because we definitely could have swept and pulled this back. And look, we got static there as well. Just an extra kick in the balls right there for this match. How comes Slowitzer, which will speed? And then, oh, I'm surprised that it didn't actually click our trick. Uh, we do knock. Oh, wow, I'm surprised that it actually knocked it out. We also got a very strong. I forgot we're also banded. Oh, we still, still out speed even with. Um, that much health uh the, the paralyze is very very fun to see uh, but yeah now we're one and one um yeah we're one and one let's get into battle three which you guys already seen um and let's get to it shall we this will decide who will make it into the round of eight Right, so moving right along, this is the round, uh, last battle of 60, uh, to get into the round of 8. There we go, I couldn't find the words. Um, so yeah, I believe we just changed Morgum to Misty Terrain, because, and you guys seen it um, in the video, it just simply was, you know, you're not know, done with the hacks, let's just poof, and put the terrain back up. You can see he's going with about the same team, which I would... This is basically the same team we played with the beginning. We just changed with the Missy Terrain. And then I think we just left the Scarf. I mean, I around, I think. But yeah, let's get into it. Uh, here comes Morgan. We lead off with Morgan just because, you know, Crobat is coming out first. And he switches out right into the Electrode. And we set up our screens because why not, right? He's going to set up a substitute here for free. And then we're just gonna click parting shot next turn. Actually, no. Is this when we do it? Then there, there. We set up the misty terrain, so no discharge for anybody there. No discharge. Oh, uh, he just poofed it because you know what? We are done with the paralyze. We parting shot because this is a sound based move, and we get out, we get the heck out of there. I go right to Mascara, which completely walls the electrode right now. So a lot of momentum on our side. We discharge, we're gonna knock off, of course, to get rid of the sub. And then we're free to click knock off again, to be honest with you. But he's gonna sub up, he's gonna try dwindle down the screens and the terrain um, at the cost of some HP there. So he switches out, but we click knock off here. We click the knock off so we get rid of that rocky helmet right away. We're assuming this is the same mill tank as last battle. So Gastron comes out, and there was a Thunder Wave right there, as expected. <laughs> I had a feeling a Thunder Wave was coming, and then there we go. Um, there was a Thunder Wave there, so we get Earth Power doing a lot of damage. We're gonna expect the Milk Drink coming all the way. So we switch out right into Cinder Ace, expecting a Milk Drink, and then we're gonna click High Jump Kick for free. We do land it, so we do a big chunk of damage to claw game, and we U-turn right out. You see that it's the citrus, blah blah blah. And we go to Reggie Drago to take any hit coming our way, but he U-turns out himself, expecting Mascarada, so very good play on his part. Uh, we body slam just to get the para on the Hattery, see if we can do it. We see Psy Shock here, uh, knowing that we are AV. Uh, we have a lot of momentum kind of swinging both sides right now. Body Slam doesn't crit, but we do get the para. And we can see this para is going to work in our favor. We're going to switch out into Celestila right now. No, we're actually going to... We're going to click EQ. There's the Nuzzle, but we still outspeed, so we can still potentially knock out the... The Hatterene here. But no, he switches out right into Crobat. Fantastic move on his part. And then we're going to switch out into Celestila here. U turn into Hatterene, expecting my switch, right? Oh, D Claw, no, very smart on his part. And then we're Body Slam. Need another para? Yeah, there's another para. So, as, and then you probably heard it back in the commentary. Like, I'm just having so much fun with this match. And there goes the Hatterene. And 
Right, here comes the claw game. We just let it go down here. Right, so actually, we can freely click declaw, but no, we get powered here. If we got that declawed uh, on the claw game, that would have been pretty big on our end. And then, um, so Crobat versus Celesteela, we're forcing the switch. But he has Super Fang. So Super Fang, Great Bird, Roost, and Sun, or Roost and U turn. Something like that. We EQ expecting a switch into the Darm. We see another Super Fang. He's clearly just trying to stall out the Celesteela here. We're trying to knock it out. Just wearing it down. And out comes the Electrode here. We do Heavy Slam again. It's another big chunk of damage. And this charge is in range to knock us out. So we are going to be forced to switch here into Morgrim. And we see the Leech Seed coming in. Probably could have actually gone flamethrower there, uh, but we didn't want to risk it. Celesteel is too good uh, to risk. We put up our light screen, and then we're gonna put up reflect on the oncoming uh, flare blitz. But he switched up his strat. Uh, we see a sub, so he's no longer scarf um, Darmanita, and he this is a clear belly drum one. So we gotta we gotta put up our best wall basically. We're sending out Gastro for free. And then here comes that belly drum. So very scary stuff with that belly drum going up. And here's our EQ. Definitely gonna just break through and then earth power. So we gotta deal with this Darmanitan right now. Here comes another sub. We're gonna, oh, and it gets the Salic Berry too. So fantastic tech on his part. And then earth power. Uh, we have no sub on his side of the field. And he knocks up my Gastro. Gastro did the work. So now we just gotta try and finish. Uh, we expected EQ coming, but uh, I'm surprised he switched out. I thought an EQ was coming. But then it's probably sub, belly drum. Uh, I forgot what he had. No, he had Earth. No, he did have Earth. Because I don't know why he didn't, uh, st he didn't stay in. Uh, he did have Earth. Yeah, he went about spent. So we're heavy duty boots. Um, here comes that discharge. We get paralyzed right before we put up the terrain. Cause we're, we're trying to put up the terrain again. Uh, no, I'm kidding. We have light screen up here. Discharge. We live on three, which I'm surprised. And then, uh, yeah, we get parad. And uh, yeah, this is not looking good for us. I think we've been playing around a little bit too much here. Um, but we get our screens. And yeah, that's it, because Electrode is just very, very annoying to deal with. Uh, we sent out Meowskarada to deal with the um, Electrode. And we're getting powered again here. So we have Knock Off, Knock Out, Knock Away to Sub. And he's just going to stall away some uh, PP right there. He has Sub, uh, stalls, yeah, so it's also when PP gets a recovery. And he's just waiting for an opportune time to switch. Let's have another sub. He's waiting for me to get powered, which I get powered right there. Um, then yeah, it's not much we can do. He can just sit there and Giga Drain all he can, all he wants. And we can't get another move off on this electrode. So things aren't looking good for us right now. Um, Take the knockoff, he's just breaking breaking Mouse Garada slowly but surely. He's just also stalling out the screens there. Okay, another knockoff. Don't know where heavy duty boots. And we send out Cinder Ace. Um, there's the body slam. No para there, thank god. And then uh, we hit the high jump kick, knocking out Mill Tank. This is where I wish I was Scarf uh, Cinderace, because I would have outsped and knocked out with High Jump Kick there. And yeah, that was... Uh, yeah, this is going to be the game right here. He can I can't do much against him. He gets a free sub off, or whatever he so chooses. Uh, there's the knock off. And I'm asking for the Darm, because Darm is so weak. No, I'm just asking for him to give me the Darm attack. <laughs> I'm expecting Flare Blitz for whatever reason, not Fire Punch. I don't know why I was expecting Flare Blitz. It was very obvious and I don't outspeed, right? So, not like it matters. He did give me what I want. I did want the Darm to finish me off. But, 
yeah that was a lot of fun um, yeah thank you Matt for a fantastic battle this was a we're out of the tournament but you know what it's okay we had a blast doing this tournament uh, we had a we had a chance to go up against the defending champs of the season and we almost took him to the limit if I had a little scarf there on um, Cinderace at the end we could have won we got some he got some really crucial power hacks on us you know this game was very even first game was all mine second game was all his and this was like literally fighting to the end and it was a fantastic match I'm not mad about losing this one this was a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoyed watching um, and yeah, stay tuned. Next episode is going to be our postseason review and next steps after for us. Um, yeah, until then, I'll see you all next time. 